Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited to finally, finally be showing you what's in my clinical bag. If you guys don't know who I am, hi, I'm currently a second year nursing student at the University of Ottawa here in Canada and I'm studying to get my bachelor's of science in nursing. I just finished up with my first clinical rotation about two weeks ago, but life was so hectic, I didn't get a chance to sit down and film this video until now. So that is why I'm filming this video now. It's like the middle of April, but you know what? We're getting it done and that's all that matters. I am wearing my Skechers by Barco scrub top. I picked this up from Scrubs for Them here in Carlingwood Mall in Ottawa. So if you're interested in picking up any, you know, scrubs from there or this top, then their Instagram is up here and I'll also link their shop in the description box below. They have such amazing products. I love it and I'm so obsessed with this top. But let's just get into this video. I don't want to ramble too, too much. But this is the clinical bag that I've used. It is just this Levi's backpack that I picked up from Winners in the summer of grade 11. I get all my backpacks from winners because I feel like the pricing is just so reasonable compared to some other stores so winners Marshall's definitely a go-to so I got this bag in the summer of grade 11 and I use it all throughout grade 12 and first year and now throughout second year as well. This year, obviously, the school year was structured differently. I was doing my classes from home. I also started to work from home. And so the only times I would really be using my backpack and going out were for lab and for clinical. So I was able to just use this one bag for lab and clinical and that's that. But when the pandemic settles down, things simmer down and whatnot, I'll definitely invest in a separate bag for clinical. I just think that's more efficient, more convenient, and it just makes sure that you don't miss anything moving things from one bag to the other. But for the time being, this got the job done. So there's two pockets on the side, a small pocket here and a big one. So let's just start off with what's in the side and that is just a water bottle. So I don't know if it's focusing, I'm sorry. The background is white so it the camera just like overexposes itself. But yeah, this is just a Nike water bottle. I also have this blue other water bottle that I take with me specifically for clinical. I just, I don't have that with me so I just put this there. But the bottom line is I always have a water bottle with me. Some people like to keep their bottles at the nursing station. I just kept it in my locker, so did my friends. And then we just go down to the locker. I guess moving forward for other clinicals, maybe now I know I can put the water bottle at the nurse's station. But it is what it is. Honestly, nursing, I feel like it kind of depends like with your clinical. So sometimes you're super busy but then sometimes you have like periods of time from like 10 30 to lunch where you're not really doing much so sometimes you don't really get a chance to drink water sometimes you do get the chance but i just think having a water bottle is really important so when you do have the chance you can hydrate and you know replenish your body and stuff like that because it's really easy to forget to hydrate yourself when you're on the floor so just an essential just an essential so let's move on to the bottom pocket the small one and then we'll do the top big uh, pocket so so first things first obviously have to have my phone on me it's essential we actually have to do screening to enter into the hospital COVID-19 screening it's on the website on my hospital's page so we need to do that so I do the screening and then I walk in go to the screener show them yada 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 do all that but obviously having your phone is essential I don't bring headphones or a charger or anything like that because I, I don't get to go on my phone for long periods of time anyway and also on our breaks me and my friends would just talk to each other so there was really no need for headphones and then I have have my wallet and my mask so I like to just attach my mask onto my card holder like this it makes it so nice when I'm just like running out the door I can just grab this I know everything's there I won't forget my mask so basically when we enter into the hospital we are wearing our own mask but then we have to change into those blue disposable masks so I just keep this with me essentially just to walk into the hospital get my face shield and my mask and then I change out of it and then obviously my wallet in case I need to pay for parking or if I need to go buy anything from like the campus convenience store and I bought like a salad from there once and it was just I wasn't expecting to buy a salad but I, I did so I was happy that I had my wallet on me also just to have ID as well just because the hospital that I was at they didn't give us hospital issued identification so sometimes we had to show our own personal IDs and stuff like that so yes wallet and mask then I just have my very own mini hand sanitizer obviously I know the hospital has hand sanitizer everywhere there's like almost too many honestly but i've just always had hand sanitizer in my bag even pre-covid times it's just like a must so just having a small one is nice sometimes you know when you leave the hospital you want to sanitize one more time when you're in your car whatever it may be it's just you can never go wrong with having hand sanitizer and then i have my bus pass over here i didn't bus to the clinical at all but this is just something that i always keep in my bag if i ever had to bus or whatever uh so yeah that's my gg pass from first year i just i've never taken it out because whatever also i know i have a lot of 
viewers from you Ottawa so if you want one of these lanyards with the card holder they're at the bookstore I honestly it's worth it some of my friends have this too and like we all get use out of it and then I believe this is the last thing in my pocket yep it is just a protein bar so this is the one that I have in there right now I was not really one to eat like big meals at clinical in my breaks I'm more of like a snack person and then when I come home I'll just have like a lunch because my clinical was from 7 to 2 I would eat breakfast at like I don't know 5 30 have a snack throughout clinical and then come home and have like a big lunch that's just what worked for me protein bars always do me good they always get me through my shift and I really like it and then one other thing that I don't have right now because it's been two weeks removed from my clinical some things are obviously not in here but what would be in here is a pack of gum. I feel like gum is essential for nursing. I mean, obviously you smell a lot of things on the floor, but as of recently, we've all been wearing N95 masks, not for every patient, but like I had a patient that was MRSA colonized. We had to take advanced droplet precautions. So I was wearing the N95 and personally, I don't like the smell of N95s whatsoever. When you initially put it on, I feel like the smell is horrific and obviously you get used to it as you wear it, but that initial like whiff of the scent is just like, it's not for me. So I always have gum in my bag as well. It's my go-to and also you don't want to like, eat your snack and then put your mask on and have your mask smell like what you just ate you know so gum is essential but that's basically all that's in the small pocket and now let's move on to the big pocket so i'll just start off by letting you know what's not in here but this is what would be in here if i were going to clinical which is a bag with a spare change of clothes just so when i'm leaving the hospital i can change my clothes and then put my dirty scrubs in that plastic bag tie it off and then come home and put it in the laundry that's what i like to do always have an extra t-shirt and pants yeah that would be in here right now it's not because i washed everything but that would definitely be in my bag um, if i were going to clinical Along with that, I have my clinical shoes also in a bag. These are just my black Air Force Ones. These are the shoes that I wore for clinical. I saw Anna Hyde do this and I thought it was a great idea because when I worked retail, I wore these shoes all the time in the 11th grade. Now it's like four or five years I've had these shoes and they're still they're still pretty good. So yeah, I wore these in the hospital um, and I wiped these all down after every single shift. I also had these just sitting in this bag for a little bit just to kill any extra bacteria. But those are the shoes that I wore for clinical. Obviously, you don't need to get any ex expensive shoes. These are just what I had with me and I thought they would be perfect. And I'm probably just going to buy a new pair of Air Force Ones for everyday use and keep these as my hospital slash clinical shoes. So next, I have my stethoscope case. And this is kind of like my one-stop shop for everything before I... I'm heading onto the floor I make sure that I have everything in here and it's just so nice I don't forget anything so I got this stethoscope case off of Amazon I think it was like $20 it's really really good quality hard and durable but the inside is a soft velvet interior which is so nice because I don't have to worry about it scratching up my stethoscope or anything like that so I definitely love it but what I have in here first of all is post-it notes so I'm not going to show the other side because it has some notes on my patients meds but post-it notes i know some people like to have those mini notepads but i just like post-it notes i feel like it's easy so i just had a pack of that this is super nice because if you're going to take a patient's vitals you want to remember them and we don't all have the best memory so if you have post-it notes once you exit the room you can jot down the vitals before you clear the machine so that way when you go to chart you have everything here and then this is just a paper that had all my patients medications ideally i would have made med cards however we got our medications at like 9 30 p.m the night before clinical and i didn't have time to make them into cards so i just made them onto this sheet and then i folded up real nice put it in my scrub pocket and it did the trick and then you'll see over here i just have pens so i have two different pens this is black ink and then this one right here is blue ink i believe so yeah having pens is just so needed <laughs> like if you're in nursing and you don't have pens on you i don't know what you're doing because you're always writing something down and then in the bottom over here i don't think you can really tell but this red thing right here is an extra hair tie extra hair ties i mean it speaks for itself you have to have your hair up and I really thick hair sometimes my hair ties break so I just had to have an extra one in there just in case so next I just have my card holder my ID badge holder so I picked this one up off of Amazon and I got two for $9.99 I believe I know actually a few people that have this one and it's really good quality what's nice about this is it obviously has this little hook right here so you can hook it onto your scrubs I'm sorry you can't really tell but you can hook it on your scrubs some scrubs have like a little tag here that you can just hook this up to but it also has the 
like this, sorry, I don't know what it's called, but it also has this. You can just slide it onto your scrubs as well, hook it on. It's great. And then on here, I actually have my lock. So I use one of those locks with the key, and then I also have the keys on here. It's just easy, convenient for me. I have not used a numbered lock in years, even in high school, in like the last two years, I never used my locker. So this is just easy for me to do. And it's like, it has everything on here, super convenient. I don't have to worry about losing my keys when I'm on the floor or anything like that. So that's in there. And then lastly, I just have my stethoscope. I have the Lippmann Classic 3 stethoscope. I have the black one. I didn't have enough time to get a tag for my stethoscope with my name on it, but I'll definitely be purchasing one or getting one made for my upcoming clinicals and stuff like that. I just think it's really good to have because everyone has a Lippmann and I already know a lot of people that have the black Lippmanns. So I don't want to lose it. I don't want to misplace it because these are pretty expensive if I do say so myself. So yeah, that's basically everything that I keep in the stethoscope case. And then I have my glasses as well. Honestly, I'm surprised surprised I didn't use my glasses at all once during this past clinical not even for charting I just didn't I just kind of like went through it but sometimes my eyes get really irritated and then I definitely have to put them on but yeah I just have my glasses in my backpack some people just fold up their glasses and put them in their scrub pocket but my glasses first of all they're expensive and they're like very flimsy thin frame so I didn't want to risk like damaging them so I would just keep them in my bag the very last thing in my clinical bag which you can see in the laptop sleeve are these bags over here and you're probably wondering what are those well basically there's just disposable face masks in here when you go into the hospital you screen yourself in they ask you how many face masks you need i think it's one face mask for every two hours or something like that so i would always just get four so that's all that's in here i mean <laughs> i didn't clear out these yet from my bag so those are that but yeah that is basically everything in my clinical bag there's absolutely nothing else left in here i kind of just keep all the essentials in here it's what gets me through my clinical shift and i didn't take a face shield with me because the hospital provided me with a new face shield every time i went there so that was really nice and i never took like any sort of jacket warm-up jacket with me because i just like to wear shirts underneath my scrubs but i guess that's basically it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed kind of looking into what i take with me to clinical if you have any questions about any of the products that i showed you do not hesitate to leave a comment down below but yeah that's all um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload that's all for me and i'll see you in the next one